वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द आंसर राइटिंग सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन ज्योग्राफी व्हिच आर बेस्ड इन द जीएस1 जनरल स्टडीज वन पेपर इन द यूपीएससी मेंस सो लेट अस रीड द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द फैक्टर्स रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द ओरिजिन ऑफ ओशन करंट्स हाउ डू दे इन्फ्लुएंस रीजनल क्लाइमेट्स फिशिंग एंड नेविगेशन सो we know the basic concept of origin what is the demand of the question they are basically asking you about the origin so write about the origin in introduction you can write about the basic definition of ocean currents then in body part again divide your answer into two part first part is what they are asking you about the origin so write down the factors so this question was asked in the upsc itself and the question is directly derived from the uh, ncert textbook 11th standard fundamentals of physical geography so there they have given four uh, uh, four basic reasons for the origin of the ocean currents so you need to write about that first part write about the origin of the ocean currents which are the factors and the next part you need to write about the influence of the ocean current on what regional climate on the regional climate so again there are many impacts but they are specifically asking you about what fishing and navigation so focus on that fishing and navigation so let us uh, uh, start our discussion so in the introduction again this definition is directly given in the ncert so you can write that basic definition of ocean currents what are ocean currents ocean currents represent a regular volume of water in a definite path and direction they are like a river flown in the oceans and they are the most important ocean movement because of their influence on the climatology of various region so you can write you can just stick to the basic definition what are the ocean currents they are basically what a regular volume of water in the definite path and direction right so you can write about the ocean currents second so start with your body in next para you can write and don't write the definition like the word definition write the definition but don't write the word definition like so don't write like this definition so avoid such words you can start directly with the actual definition next next the factors the first part of the question is what first part is what they are asking you about factors responsible for the origin of the ocean currents so start with the first factor is what planetary winds planetary winds so planetary winds so they are the principal cause of the origin of the ocean currents and such winds along with them so what uh, the ocean currents they are generated what what is the basic force behind it which then difference of the density and salinity so we know earth is slightly tilted earth is slightly tilted so what is happening to do that uh, due to that the uh, the there is temperature variation there is difference in the insulation difference in the amount of insulation there is difference in the temperature distribution and with the difference in the temperature what is happening density difference is happening salinity difference is happening so what it motivates the difference of density and salinity motivates denser waters to sink and move as waters move towards the denser water right so what they are saying basically ki when the density difference is there when there is a salinity difference so what happens when there is less density so like uh, like wind which moves from high pressure to low pressure area the water also moves from what high density to the low density low density area and this become the important cause for the origin of ocean currents next is what the rotation of the earth so we know the earth is rotating from west to east west to east and into that coriolis force is uh, uh, coriolis force is generated and due to that force we know in the in what <coughs> uh uh in other hemisphere in the northern hemisphere the ocean currents the winds they move towards right side and here in uh, uh, now yeah, uh, southern hemisphere they move towards left they move towards what left when 
coriolis force is there and why coriolis force is there due to the what? rotation of the earth so that is the main cause of the origin first is what planetary winds second is what difference of density third is what the rotation of the earth and then the fourth uh, fourth factor is what the shape of the coastline so the shape of coastline is also an important factor that oceans ocean currents are generated that ocean currents are generated so we know we have a concept called as what counter equatorial current so we can also draw a diagram here north america this is south america so we have ocean currents like this so why these currents are moving like this because of the what shape of the continents so this is what north equatorial current we also have what counter equatorial current this is what south equatorial current right so this is what gulf stream gulf stream current warm current this is again a brazilian warm current is here brazilian warm current so the shape of the coastline also determines the direction of the ocean current so these are the factors so first first part of the question is over the origin of the ocean currents second part second part they are asking you about what the impact on the fishing impact on the fishing and the navigation so in general you can write local climate then navigation and fishing so fishing is important here they are asking you specifically about fishing so write about the fishing uh, we know when there is confluence of the warm current and the cold current this situation creates fog and the fog is very good for the planktons and planktons are the basic food for the fisheries so where two currents warm current and cold current like in japan we know there is oyoshio current oyoshio cold current kuroshio warm current is there when there is confluence of that there is a presence of fishing ground here in the uh, uh, atlantic ocean in the atlantic ocean what is the case here we know the gulf stream is there so we have gulf stream warm current and here you here we have labrador pole current so here there is a creation of what grand bank grand bank which is very famous for the important important fishing ground you can say so confluence of what labrador current cold labrador current and warm gulf stream there is a fishing ground so what are the impacts you need to explain so places where cold and warm currents meet are ideal for the growth of plankton which is food for the fish and this region thus have developed into the major fishing grounds of the world so newfoundland island so that was the uh, island so uh, the confluence of that cold current and the warm current takes place besides the island called as newfoundland island of this eastern coast of the north america we just saw is the meeting point of the gulf stream and the labrador current is one of the major so this can be uh, your uh, first impact a second impact is what navigation so by using predicted real time and short term forecasted currents ships can be safely docked and undocked maneuver in confined waterways and safely navigate through the coastal waters lack of this knowledge can lead to the collision so when north atlantic drift is there when uh, when the gulf stream uh, combines with the labrador current there is what north atlantic drift so here when these currents so there is what presence of north atlantic drift so again this is beneficial for the navigation this is beneficial for the navigation you can write about that when you know the actual direction the speed of the ocean currents right you can help you can uh, uh, benefit from that in the navigation sector next next you can write the third impact they have asked you but you can write in short the local climate due to the north atlantic drift there is a creation of what british type of climate there is a creation of british type of climate winds blowing over a warm current become warm at the same time pick up moisture thus the wind that reaches the land brings down the temperature and causes heavy rainfall the western coast of europe is an example of such region so there is a creation of what british type of climate the warm current is there the north atlantic drift due to what due to that due to the warm north atlantic drift the ports the ports of the uh, british islands never freeze in the winter season so they can be working in the winter season also so this is a great example of the uh, modification in the local climate due to what due to ocean currents you can also write about the desiccation effect what is desiccation effect uh, just give just for example uh, 
In South America, here we have Atacama Desert and here we have Peruvian Current. Peru Current or what? Humboldt Current. Peru Current or what? Humboldt Current. So, when, when any cold current passes besides the desert, so desiccation effect happens. Desic desiccation effect means what? That desert becomes more arid. So, this is the what? Strong cold current. Strong cold current. Why this is a cold current? Because it is coming from the polar region. Water is very cold. So, strong desiccation effect. Due to what? Due to this, we have Atacama Desert. One of arid, most arid desert you can say. Most arid desert in the world. Atacama Desert. What? Atacama Desert. Similarly, near Sahara. Near Sahara. Near Sahara, here we have what? Cold Canaries current. Again, desiccation effect happens over here. The, uh, the desert becomes arid. So, yes, you can write about the climate. So, these are the uh, second part of the question. First, you wrote about the uh, factors that are responsible for the origin of the ocean currents. In the second part, you wrote about the impact on the uh, impact of the ocean currents on fishing, navigation, and on climate. Next, in conclusion, in conclusion, write about the future. What is happening in the present, right? So, uh, the consequences. So, consequences means what? The impact creates what? The creation of fishing grounds. That means it impacts the livelihood of the people living in the coastal region that impacts the economic development. So, consequences, you can write about economic development of the nation. Then livelihood. Then there is creation of what? Uh, climate. So that affects the habitat of the persons living in this region. Right? So these are the, some consequences. And or you can write so you can write about consequences or you can write about the impact of global warming on the circulation of the ocean currents. So ocean currents some scientists what they're saying the due to the global warming due to the global warming the temperature in the polar region that is increasing so that basically is reducing the flow of the ocean currents the ocean current the movement of the ocean currents is being slowed down because of the global warming why because there is less gradient in uh, uh, in polar region, we have low temperature and high pressure. Uh, so, ocean currents, what they do? Ocean currents sink at the polar region and they move towards equator. And when the temperature is more, the temperature gradient is less. So, when earlier that suppose, I am just giving an example. Earlier, if the ocean currents are moving by 100 km per hour, now they are moving by 80 km per hour. So, the speed of the ocean currents is reducing. And when speed of the ocean current is reducing, the temperature distribution, the salinity distribution is affected. Right? The rejuvenation capacity of the ocean current is, uh, is affected and that affects the livelihood of the coastal people, that affects the biodiversity, that affects the marine ecosystem of that ocean. So, you can write impact of the global warming, slowing down of the speed of the ocean current. So, this was the first question. Second question. Second question, they are asking you about uh, the major cities of India are becoming more vulnerable to the flood conditions. So, we talked about the air masses. Uh, so, uh, we talked about the oceanography. Now, this question is from human geography. So, they have combined the issue of flood. Again, uh, the theme, the flood theme is repeated many times in the UPSC. This question is slightly different. What they are asking you, major cities of India are becoming more vulnerable to floods condition. Discuss. So, first you need to write about the, uh, uh, you, you need to give the, some examples. Because they have given one statement. So, assume that statement to be correct. Give some examples. Key like Hyderabad, Pune, Bangalore, Mumbai. So, these cities are becoming flood prone. This year only, the city of Bengaluru was submerged under water. So, you can write about it. Then, write about the reasons. First, reasons why they are being flooded. Then, write about the impact. And give some solutions at the last. So, this should be your structure. Basic introduction. So, in the introduction, here, you cannot write the definition of flood. No? You cannot write. Instead, 
you should give some written uh, recent examples so that their statements can be proved right so how you can write so you can write in introduction you can write as climate variability and extreme weather events increases urban flooding becomes more and more common in many indian cities like hyderabad bengaluru mumbai etc and while the ultimate while the untimely heavy rains can be attributed to climate variability the urban flooding is mainly due to unplanned urbanization so here in the introduction what you are saying flooding is caused by both nature climate change is happening so natural event and also due to what man made structure due to what Ur unplanned urbanization so both factors are important but in the second line they are stressing that although although uh, urban floodings are becoming more more and more frequent the unplanned urbanization is the main cause unplanned urbanization is the main cause indirectly climate change is there but directly unplanned urbanization is the main, main cause of the urban flooding so you need to write the these keywords unplanned urbanization urban flooding right and here you have also given the some cities so this can be your introduction right this or this or don't write everything don't write everything because introduction should be short and crisp next in the body part in the body part first write down the reasons why our urban areas are flooded every year why they are flooded because of inadequate drainage infrastructure so every city has a drainage infrastructure but most of our cities like mumbai the drainage infrastructure is very old that was created during the british raj so the drainage infrastructure is now inadequate because the population has increased two times three times four times okay so this their drainage infrastructure is inadequate so due to this uh, our floodings happen next cities becoming impervious cities becoming impervious means what they are not able to absorb the water they are not able to absorb the surface water why again there are many reasons soil sealing is one concept soil sealing concretization is one concept next third is what encroachment of water bodies encroachment of water bodies so our cities they had lakes wetlands mangrove system rivers but in the name of development what we are doing we are encroaching upon that wetland we are encroaching upon that wetland and when uh, the encroachment of the wetland happens the uh, the strength of that wetland to absorb the water reduces so encroachment of the water bodies is also the main reason for the uh, more frequent floods then improper planning again same can be said improper planning you are not planning you are destroying the uh, uh, wetland system actually that can be a reason then cloud burst due to heat island effect so we have you know heat island effect heat island effect means what uh, when you compare where when there is city so the temperature of city is more by two to three degrees celsius compared to the surrounding region this is basically heat island effect and when you have heat island effect there is more amount of moisture more and more amount of humidity so cloud burst events are common in city areas so in mumbai 2005 you can write about that 2005 mumbai rainfall 26 11 okay so there cloud burst happened so cloud burst uh, due to the cloud burst means what cloud burst means what uh, torrential rainfall in very short amount of time so that again causes in uh, that again causes what urban flooding next is what unplanned release of the water from the dams so this can be a reason many cities are located on the rivers and there is a dam when you release huge amount of water suddenly the city area become flooded so these are some of the reasons you can write just explain in one or two lines give example try to give maximum example and in next part in next part you can write the solutions you can write about the solution because the question is discussed huh? question is discussed so don't just write the problems 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 also try to give solutions from government perspective from community perspective and from personal perspective so here what you can write holistic management so holistic management means what we uh, in india we have multiple layers of government central government is implementing some scheme state government is implementing scheme and we also have local bodies and we often see there is no coordination among them so that creates problem 
so holistic management should be there then developing sponge cities so sponge cities is a concept we can see in the european part so what is sponge cities uh, in sponge cities we uh, suppose we there is a ground there is a ground in some locality so what we do we uh, direct the drainage water over here so that ground will absorb the uh, excess water or what you can do uh, we can plant many trees on the uh, walls of the uh, not uh, trees actually you can plant the grasses or the bushes on walls so that they can absorb the uh, excess water right so this is a concept of basically spawn cities then water sensitive urban designs so water sensitive urban designs so we should also take care of what take care of uh, take care of what we can say take care of wetlands because wetlands they act like a kidney to the urban ecosystem then you should what modernize the modernize the uh, drainage infrastructure you should modernize the drainage infrastructure then third what you can write you can also write about the environmental impact assessment environmental impact assessment you can write uh, hazard mapping should be done hazard mapping so such solutions you can write the encroachment of the flood plains of the river should be cleared off right so these are the some of the cities uh, some of these solutions you can give and again indirectly you can write to reduce the global warming we should uh, reduce the consumption of fossil fuels we should promote renewable energy these are the indirect solution you can focus mainly on these direct solutions so this is this can be your body first you wrote about the uh, reasons for the huge urban flooding and then you wrote about the consequences now in conclusion in conclusion again you should focus on what key though climate change and other effects on environment may be the reason for this flood they are also aggravated so this is important so climate change is happening floods more amount of rainfall is there this is one reason another reason this reason is being aggravated by what another reasons which is what occur frequently in the big cities because of the anthropogenic activities anthropogenic activities means what unplanned unplanned development encroachment is there uh, inadequate drainage infrastructure which we, we talked about it right so first factor second factor you can again you can highlight or you can write overburden of drainage unregulated construction and no regard for the natural topography and the hydrogeomorphology all make the urban floods a man-made disaster or in the uh, in the introduction or in conclusion you can also write key cities are the engines of the economic development and when cities are being flooded like this every year there is what impact on the economic development there is impact on the social development right so by writing this you can conclude the answer so these were the uh, two questions for this session i hope you understood how to approach the question you understood the basic concept behind the uh, questions thank you